Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. We are doing a leg and glute session today. I took a poll on Twitter what you guys wanted to see next, and this is what you guys wanted to see. So if you would like to have a say in what videos I post next, go follow my Twitter. I think that's where I'm going to be posting all my polls to figure out what kind of videos I want to post next. I did this leg and glute session a few days back, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys because, um... It destroyed my butt <laughs> which is exactly what we want and I also loved it for my legs so it's a little bit of both I'm super excited to share it with you so without further ado let's go kill this workout also don't forget to press that guy down there before we start and I hope you guys really enjoy this workout and I will see you at the gym Alright you guys, we are starting today off just a little different than what I normally do. I normally run on a treadmill and do RDLs to get the blood flowing, but today I wanted to show you something a little bit different and show you what you can do if you don't have a treadmill or don't like running. What I'm doing right here is called dynamic stretching, so I'm stretching the muscles while I'm activating it as well. This is an awesome way to prepare the muscles and not do static stretching, which can actually make you a little bit weaker if you're wanting to go lift a little bit heavier. So I started off with straight leg toe marches right into toe walks and then I'm going into a duck squat and holding. When you do your Spider-Mans back and forth, start out slow, really opening up those hips, feeling the stretch in your inner thigh and your growings and your hamstrings. And then as you get more comfortable and you feel more warmed up, you can go a little bit faster. You can also pull on your toes to intensify the stretch. And then as always, I hold my duck squat. I use my elbows to open up my knees. I know it looks a little odd, but it's an amazing stretch which really opens up your hip flexors for squatting. So I highly suggest that one. And then I'm just moving my upper body just to get my body warm and ready to work out. Go until you feel like you're comfortable and warm. Um, this doesn't need a time limit. Just go until you feel ready to work out. And let's go! Our first leg and glute workout on the agenda today is single leg hack squats. This is very similar to a step up, but the time under tension on the hack squat is substantially more. By doing it on the hack squat, you are keeping all the pressure and engagement on the leg that you are utilizing. On a step up, you're able to transfer the weight. This seriously kicks your booty into gear. Make sure your knee is in alignment with your second and third toe. That is so extremely important for knee health and to prevent injury. I'm sitting back as far as I can to really make sure my glutes are doing all of the work. You're also going to use a little bit of quads and hamstrings in this, but our main goal is to isolate those glutes so the further you can sit back, the more you're going to feel that engagement. You are going to do 8 to 12 reps on this. So see how you feel, fill out your reps, and then make sure you're not compromising your form just to get to 12 reps. So shoot for 8 to 12. Then you're going to go right into Bulgarian split squats. I'm using a lighter weight here because we're going to do more reps. You're going to shoot for 15 to 20 reps on this. Again, make sure your knee is in alignment with that second and third toe. I preach this about every single leg workout because it is that important. I'm going directly down, and as I'm standing up, I'm feeling my glute engage. That is really important. So when you guys are working out your glutes, if you're not feeling the actual muscle engage, it means you're not properly working it. So really focus on that mind-muscle connection, and you will have such better progress with your workouts. I can guarantee it. You are going to repeat this superset three times. So 8 to 12 reps on the single leg hack squat and 15 to 20 reps on the Bulgarian split squat. It's a doozy, you guys. Get ready. It's time to bump up the weight a little bit. Make sure you're picking a weight that is challenging, yet not going to compromise your form. Don't compare what you lift to what I lift. Each individual is different, and your body only knows effort. So if it's challenging to you, that's the only thing that matters. We are going to do regular hack squat with resistance. I slightly turn my toes out and a little bit wider so I can really sit back and go low. I am not fully extending up because I want to maintain the tension within my legs. Make sure your knees are in alignment with your second and third toe, as always. You're going to do 10 reps, and then you are immediately going to go into gate swings. <laughs> this band is a little bit wider, so it fell off my knees, but it does stick when you have tension on it. Then you're going to do 15 gate swings to spike that heart rate, and then you're going to go right back into your hack squat. You guys are going to do three sets of this. Remember, 10 hack squats, 15 gate swings. Back to back, no rest. You can do it. I believe in you. Get ready to sweat. I know your legs and glutes are on fire at this point. 
the push through, we are going to be into our third back-to-back -back superset. This one, you guys, is going to be your breaking point. It's going to kill you, but you are strong. You need to tell yourself you're strong, and you need to push yourself. So you are going to do a side leg press, 10 reps, 10 to 12 reps, making sure that that knee is almost going behind your shoulder. Then you're going to go right into a leg, single leg press. Again, push through it, close your eyes, breathe, maintain your form, and count down. 10 to 12 reps of each of these. You guys will notice that I play around with my footing quite often when I lift. This is because I'm trying to find the correct footing and the correct foot placements that's going to engage my muscles the most. The higher I place my foot, the more focus it has on my glutes and hamstrings. The lower I place it, the more focus it has on your quads. So I encourage you to play around with the footing and find one that you can feel the most engagement with. Again, we are all about that mind-muscle connection. So the back-to-back -back side leg press to the regular leg press is a big doozy, you guys. It's absolutely fire, and you can do it. I believe in you. Remember, 10 to 12 reps each way. Then you're going to finish off with a ladder. So you're going to do one rep, one rep pulse, two reps, two rep pulse, three reps, three rep pulse, and so on, all the way to five. And then you are going to go back down. So it sounds complicated, but really it's just a full rep and then pulses. The burn that you are going to be feeling is the lactic acid that is building up. That is okay. We want lactic acid. You actually can use lactic acid as more fuel. Your muscles use it. So don't be alarmed if your legs feel like they're going to fall up. That's okay. And you're going to push through it because you are strong and you're going to tell yourself just how strong you are to finish this workout. I believe in you, so go believe in yourself. When you are done with this circuit, you're going to take about a 30 to 45 second rest. And then you are going to repeat this bad boy another time. And if you are a rock star, you're going to repeat it three times. You won't be disappointed. And let me know how it goes. Breathe, breathe, and breathe. By now, I'm sure you guys are going to be swearing my head off and wishing that I was in a darker place. But I promise by the end of it, we might be best friends. We are now moving on into vertical leg press. This is an awesome exercise. Yes, it's a little odd, but it completely targets your inner thighs, which are your growings, your hamstrings, quads, and glutes all at the same time. Make sure your lower back stays flat on the ground. Do not let your glutes come off the ground, putting your back in a posterior tilt. That's going to put extra tension on your back. So make sure it's flat. When you leg press all the way down, pause for a second. This is going to intensify the stretch and then push back up. You're going to do 15 reps of that right into a curtsy stance leg press. And you're going to perform 15 reps of this one as well. You're going to feel the burn in different areas. Make sure your knees, ankles, and hips are in alignment to prevent injury. This is essentially a leg press with a compound movement so you get the best of both worlds. You guys... Just wait until you do this. I can guarantee you're going to feel your inner thighs and glutes and hamstrings all want to fall off at the same time. Then you're immediately going to go into glute bridges with a kick. Make sure you're pressing your hips up the whole entire time. When As soon as your hips drop, you lose engagement, and that defeats the whole purpose of trying to work core stability and glutes at the same time. You're going to do 15 to 25 reps of this. I know that's a big range, but depending on how sore you are from the previous lifts that we did, I want it to be challenging for you, so shoot for 15 to 25 reps. Again, keep those hips pressed up. That is super important. Immediately when you're done, you're going to perform this whole circuit one more time for a total of two sets. You can do it, you guys. I believe in you. Remember that. If you have seen my other glute workouts, you know that I finish with the abduction machine almost every single time. It is by far my favorite to finish with, and it's one of the best glute isolations for me personally. I like to sit back with my booty off the seat because I find I get more engagement. So we are going to be finishing with a two minute drop set challenge. So without stopping for the next two minutes, you are gonna do abductions. Sounds simple, but it's death. <laughs> so get ready. I have a timer on the machine. My phone's sticking to the actual machine. You'll see me looking at it. I started off with almost too heavy of a weight, which is okay because I was able to push through. But as soon as you feel like you cannot go at that weight anymore, you are going to drop it to a smaller weight and then continue to abduct. You're going to do this for the whole two minutes. Again, it's not the most comfortable of exercises because it hurts like crap, but 
It's so good and so fire. You'll be thankful at the end of it. Just you're going to be cursing yourself during it. So be prepared for that. So yeah, I will let you guys enjoy watching me suffering for the next minute and a half. She just a throwaway. No, I be chasing paper just like I'm supposed to. I can't trust that girl and she not antisocial. I didn't pay my dues and made my own way. I'm the CEO, I drive my own place. Do this for the chip, I'm talking holy. Made a promise to my niggas, we'll be okay. Feel like Obama in this bitch, I run this whole thing. Feel like Osama in this shit, I'm bombing no man. Signs. And my butt was cramping which was awesome finally <laughs> because my glutes were so tight and sore I decided to show you guys some of my favorite glute stretches we call this the hippo and gymnastics make sure your heel is in alignment with your knee and you will see a further engagements in your glutes I hold my stretches anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute of each so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on some music and let you guys enjoy some of the stretching Just elevate, we gon' get revenue, revenue, revenue. Four say the spit at the W. She told me she don't get out much. I told her, sit back, just be comfortable. Please don't compare me to other dudes. She know about me, no substitute. I don't respond well to number two. Really, so why can I fuck with you? My focus on money ain't nothing new. My circle stays tight, only fuck with you. My come up ain't nothing like Huxtable. You run up, you see what my youngest do. One time for the north side. State bridge on the north side. Bad bitches on the north side. Good vibes on the north side. Signs. Watch how these people tell lies, lies Why you can't look me in my eyes, eyes Just elevate, we gon' get high, high I know you see me, baby I know you see me crying I know you see me shine These niggas hate it, don't they? These bitches get excited I'm tryna see that man Don't even get me started Don't mean no disrespect, but Fuck all these other eyes Signs, signs Watch out these people tell the lies, lies Just elevate, we gon' get I hope you agree <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Please let me know after you've tried your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. 